Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk with you guys about some leveling and XP tips regarding Sword Art Online, Alicization Licorice. Now, if you enjoyed the video or found this helpful, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Now let's get started. All right, let's get this out of the way first. The max level is 50 at the moment, but this is surely to increase in the future. I noted this first because I have received plenty of questions regarding this, and yes, some of the Divine Beasts are level 80 plus, but I personally have not battled these yet, and when I do, I will be putting out guides to defeat those because as many of you already know, mobs even a couple levels higher can be extremely tough, so I couldn't imagine battling something that's 80 plus when the max cap is only 50. Okay, so let's talk about some of the current ways to level. First, you have the main quest, which does reward you XP for every quest finished, and then you have the side quests as well, which are shown via the pink quill on your map. Now this is just a tip but as you unlock each village or area feel free to gather all of the quests available as some have requirements that you already have in your inventory and can easily net you quick XP. Speaking of this, spend more energy on the quests that require you to actually kill mobs rather than the quests that send you on a wild goose egg for plants or materials that you have no idea where they are located. I have found that in time some of the more basic quests require you to find these items from the next region or simply put just give you no help whatsoever in finding them. So if you you do receive a quest and you notice there's really no information around it there's no uh, symbol on your map or anything just skip it get rid of the basic ones that give you that quick XP and then move on and then you never know when you go back to that village you might have found that within the next region so besides the main story and side quests you also have the option of relic quests from warrior statues these quests typically require you to kill a specific number of mobs in a zone and give you decent XP as well as a skill point be warned though that while you can complete these quests again you will not get as much XP as the second go around matter of fact you will get probably a very very small percentage of that so like i said do the relic quest one time and then leave it at that next we turn our attention to other quests on your map in each location these being mutants clandestine beasts and head of clan one important thing to note here is that typically your head of clan quest will be way higher than you currently are so if you're just reaching that area stick to either the clandestine beasts or the mutants these will also reward you with some good gear like a sword or maybe some type of armor that you can equip on your players so just keep that in mind as well okay so besides fighting let's talk about some of the other ways you can gain faster xp First, let's discuss Hyper Awareness. This is a passive skill available to you under the Bow Skill Tree, which grants an additional 10% bonus XP and can be equipped on all party members. It's not something that if you equipped it on, let's say, Kirito, you can't equip it on Yu-Gi-Oh! or Alice or Asuna. You can equip it on everybody as a passive trait, so definitely make sure that you unlock that. Now, this does require you to have a bow in your possession to have the skill tree actually unlocked, but if you don't have the money to go ahead and buy one, you can head over to Salter Croix, Vizia Valley for the gold chest. In one of those is a bow that you can have so that way you can unlock that skill tree. Next we have Yu-Gi-Oh or Leafa's character trait Diligent. If you add Yu-Gi-Oh to your party and then select records, you will see one of his character traits is Diligent which adds additional XP gained to the entire party. However, the percentage gained from it relies solely on his affinity level, so I definitely recommend increasing this if you haven't already. Now, if you don't know much about the affinity game yet and need some help, check out my Sword Art Online Alicization Licorice playlist, and I have a guide dedicated to it that will help you. Matter of fact, I will put that in the description below. I'll put the link there just to make it easier on you guys. Now, Leafa has the same diligent trait, however, since Yu-Gi-Oh is a playable character from the start, you have access to this trait very early on in the game. Alright guys, as short as it was, again, I just wanted to cover very briefly with you some of the tips for making your leveling experience in Sword Art Online Alicization Licorice hopefully a bit better or a bit faster than it already was. Now, if I missed any other way to increase your XP rate or maybe a fancy trick to do so, leave it in the comments below for other people to know and we would all very much appreciate that. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you would like to stay connected with me outside of YouTube, follow me on Twitter at underscore Cerebro where I am very active every single day. Also, we do have a Discord coming soon and some giveaways, so definitely stay in touch on YouTube and Twitter and then I will see you guys soon. Now, with that being said, I am Cerebro. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your weekend. And most importantly, everybody, keep gaming. Peace.